happy monday everybody or is it happy we're not so happy we are kind of like got rain for two days in a row day and night it stopped some well i still after i went to bed i still heard it raining but it has stopped it's cloudy and it's all from this hurricane sally and speaking of hurricanes um sally's moving on up into louisiana and you know they were hit just recently with um the other dude that went through and um one of our podcasters uh the hurricane um the winds the everything destroyed her home she lost everything i'm going to give you her her um her um podcast um she's got like maybe 200 followed her followers but there's pictures of the devastation that she put on there but she's lost everything clothes shoes she she's walking around with slippers she has no shoes so um and it's not like they have the means to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe and stuff so i volunteered to come on and if any of you can help and she doesn't have hooks or yarn so i went look this morning my clothes are a little bit too big she wears a size extra large to 1x and if you have any her address is on her website i mean on her channel in the description so if you have anything that you aren't using and that you could box up and send to her, she would be greatly appreciated. Um, she wears size eight shoe and clothes extra large to 1X. I'm repeating myself, but just in case, I've noticed that sometimes I say things and then um, along the line, people ask me questions about this and that. And I said, oh, well, I said it in my video, uh, you know. So anyway, so our address is in the description. If you have any, I was going to have you do me and then I would, but no, it's, I'm not going to, you know, I'm getting ready for vacation. I haven't got time to, um, but I'm going to box her up. I found a pair of, um, because of my neuropathy, I can't wear um, tennis shoes. So I have a pair of Easy Spirits, brand new. I might even have worn them one or twice, once, one and twice, once or twice. <laughs> And um, I and I have a couple of slip-on shoes that are eight. In fact, I think they're eight Ws. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, and I got to clean them up. They're real dusty because I haven't worn them since I moved down here, which was in 2002. So you know how old they are. I mean, they were like the shoes I wore to work at, up north. But down here, they're closed-toe shoes and they're, they're naturalizers and easy spirits. And um, so I'm going to clean those up and I'm going to send their three pairs of shoes. Um, I've got some other places to look to see if I've put something away that might help her. But I'm definitely going to get that out and some hooks. I think I have some extra hooks in my little hook bag. And because um, when I first started, people were sending me hooks and, and I bought some sets myself. So I'm going to go through what I have and see if there are any of those. And then I'll look through my stash. And it, as you can see in my closet right there, I've got yarn lined up in there. So I'm going to, I mean, maybe she wants to start a blanket or something and I'll send her some stuff to make a blanket or something with. So um, I'm not going to give you her name. You'll probably see it on her podcast. But she said I could give you the name of her podcast, which is... Um, Whispering Stitcher, Whispering, W-H-I-S-P-E-R-I-N-G, and Stitcher, S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R, and you'll find it on YouTube, so you'll get your information there, and I thank you very much. I know she deeply appreciates it. Um, she's had... Um, I don't know if she has fibromyalgia or not, but she's had some health issues, but she was getting back on her feet, and they're slowly trying to get, get themselves together. So any help that you can send, I mean, anything. Jeez, if you've got a can of peas, send them to her. I mean, come on, anything that will help her out, that's what I'm going to do. 
um, and um, so I really would appreciate it if you would just take 10 or 15 minutes to look through your closet or in your stash for goodwill that you're sending uh, hand-me-downs she doesn't mind I mean um, they're desperate so and she's one of our podcasters so dip into your take a few minutes dip into your stash of clothes I know some people have a lot of stash I'm not gonna mention any names of clothing but um, I'm not one of them in fact I've got my working moo moo on and I bought this here in Florida back in 2002 so it's 18 years old and it even had holes in it and I sewed the holes up <laughs> because it's so comfortable I hate to throw it away so anyway it, but it's due it's got holes all over the place it's worn through so remember whispering stitches stitcher and I'll put it below in the description I promise I promise I will do that and I'll even put her address um, and her address on her uh, um, channel is the same that she gave me so everything's good there okay and plus they've got this this other hurricane coming up and it's a one so far so let's keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't do any more damage than it already has so anyway so that's my um, my little uh, sending prayers to her to the whispering stitcher and hopefully that soon they will be back to normal um, they're they're just she's just devastated and I feel really bad for her so let's get together and see what we can send her that will help her out she needs yarn she needs hooks she needs anything yarny um, and in clothes if you've got some in extra large or 1x in that category jeans pants tops anything I mean she doesn't have any clothes so let's see what we can do to help her out so god bless you all for helping and let's just say prayers that this that these that our folks up in louisiana don't get hit really bad again with this storm that's coming okay now i got today was like christmas 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 i was so excited i well i got up early and then i was so tired my eyes hurt and everything my eyes my eyes hurt I know I haven't gotten enough sleep so I laid down the bed next to Rosie and I slept two or three more hours I know I just have these I can't sleep more than five or six hours together so then I have to take so I took my morning nap already so anyway I missed the mailman this morning packages are out by the door of things that y'all ordered over the weekend and um, I did a lot more sewing and I've got some more stuff to send out um, but anyway I opened my door and what's there like these big packages and I'm going oh my goodness well one big box um, months ago and I mean months ago I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from um, um, Cheryl's niece Katie because she was selling um, Pampered Chef and I'd had a few pieces of Pampered Chef, but I bought those years ago when I was working. And so I said, well, let me look through and see what they have. You know, I'll help her out. So $100 later, I bought a bunch of stuff from her and it came today. I got like an egg, a microwave egg cooker. So I got to read the directions. And I got um, some sauces, like raspberry rum yes it was good and let's see um, some other sauces I can't remember what they are but I love working with sauces you know when you're cooking and stuff like that it gives it a nice flavor so anyway I got that the egg cooker some measuring spoons measuring cup I thought I was getting a set of big cups but I got these teeny little ounce cups oh well and um, what else did I get oh a food chopper I didn't have a food chopper and sometimes I get so aggravated you know when you got you know I'm getting so that my hands won't allow me to do a lot of things so this thing I could just pump up and down and it cuts it right up and I got a new uh, paring knife so yeah I'm real excited about what I got I opened that and then the next thing I opened 
Well, you remember I showed you guys my new invention about cutting off the the little uh, pencil thingamajigums to put on the end of my needles? Well, some anonymous, there was no, no card with it or anything from Amazon. I get some stoppers. Look at that. All different sizes and colors. Thank you so much, whoever sent these. But you didn't have to. I was making do with what I had. Really, I can make do with that kind of stuff. But thank you so much. This is really exciting. <laughs> Needle stoppers, baby. Look at that. All different. I was looking at just different sizes, but it's the holes, I think. The holes are different sizes. Yes, I was real excited. That's really cool. Anything to make my work easier. That's what I say. So, yes, I just love it. Thank you so much, whoever sent these to me. I really, really appreciate them. I'm telling you, it was like Christmas. Then, I got this little box from Anonymous. And Anonymous sent me all these little things for my purses. She said she no longer uses them. And, thought, and, and they're the cutest on things I've ever seen. I mean, look at these little things. Look at these little tiny little, you can make some tiny little uh, chain purses with those. Absolutely. I've got it in my mind already how, what I'm making with them. I sat here and studied them for about 20 minutes. So thank you so much, honey. I really appreciate it. And these are a little bit smaller than the ones, or are they the same size? No, a little bit smaller than what I use. Or maybe they're the same size. And then there's this teeny little tiny little curved one and it's got a little chain thing on it. I thought it was so cute. And then the little square ones. And then I got, oh, and look at these. These have little heart colors. Look, blue. Let's see. And there's black little hearts. Now these are a little larger than the, the ones that I use. So it's gonna be fun. To make it little bigger ones and then this is a crystal heart look at that little crystal heart I'm watching these dudes outside I think somebody's somebody's air conditioner is out everybody's air conditioner is out it seems because they need to replace them and uh, blue I, sh I think I should oh and here's the purple this is purple look at that isn't that cute I'm gonna make some, make some little but I just love these little tiny ones. They're so adorable. They're just so adorable. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I'm, I have to fix that. Sometimes when these come, this is very loose or very tight. So you have to adjust. Sometimes you have to adjust these so they, so you, what you want to do is you want to make sure they click. See, this one just barely clicks. I would have to fix that. But, oh, and here's red. I don't know if I should do red heart. These are adorable. I love them. I'm going to put them in my stash so that when I start making them, I'll make some more. Cool, huh? And let me show you what I was... <laughs> um, I don't know if y'all remember back when I'm... Look at my hair sticking up like alfalfa. Um, one of... Um, one of our podcasters, Sandy A, Sandy from Crochet A, sent me um, some of this uh, real. It was a different color, um, uh, different colors, but pretty um, cord, kind of cord like. A little thinner what, than what I'm using, so I had to double up. But look what I started. Isn't that cute? See, it has. Yeah, I have to you know stretch it out and everything, but that's the bottom. But and this is the. This is the um, the hardware that I'm putting on it. But isn't that going to be cute? Yeah, I started it. I started it. And then I had to tear it out because I didn't like the color of the thread. <laughs> so I'm like halfway across. I'm going, uh-uh, this doesn't look right. And I'm in the dark practically, you know. I like doing these things during the daytime. So anyway, so this is what I've been working on. And I got, and it's going to be, oh, it's going to be so cute. See, that's going to be in there. So anyway, so I'm playing. I've been playing around with them. I just, I just think it's, I love this. And it's two colors. It's um, like a, a Kelly green and like a lavender color. 
and I put the two colors together, but I love the marble look. I like it. It's cute. So that's what I was working on yesterday a little bit, besides sewing and packing and getting everything ready, you know. And um, the other thing is I've been, I cut... I, I went in there to because some people had ordered um, some bags and oh let me see oh let me show you what's that doing over there this should be over here I got things mixed up if I misplace it where it's supposed to go even if it's a mess I know where it is but um, this one is this one's promised to somebody but I do have I still have one of the dogs left. That's it. Everything else went. Um, somebody had wanted this, so maybe she, well, she'll get in touch with me Thursday, but anyway. So, I had this cut, and I was in the pro, I didn't mean to point at you. I should use my two fingers like they do it, the stewardess do. The exits here, 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 here. Yeah, the whole plane is an exit. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Anyway, I had this cut, and I hadn't sewn it. To, I had the edges, but I hadn't boxed it yet or anything, so I didn't show you, but I, I love this. Isn't this cute? So I made a large bag with the kitty cats on it. So if anybody's interested, it's available. Isn't it cute? And I had these little ball, blue balls that match perfectly. Of course, I had to fix the holes so I could get, the holes weren't big enough, but. I took care of that. So anyway, isn't that cute? So this is a a large kitty cat. I just love these cats. I think it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I think this was the last the last piece of this that I had of it. So that's why I went ahead and made it. So what I've got going now is I'm making some more um go-to bags and I cut did I cut one or two I cut two of these these are my cat so I've got them inside out because I have to see I've sewn them now I'm getting ready to box them and then I have two of these that I'm making this is you know I love my cat <coughs> then I'm making do I get this all mixed mixed up I might just go ahead I'm doing laundry today trying to anyway <clears throat> here I'll just turn this inside out and this is the other one that I'm making it's more of a see with the birds and the, the uh, flowers on isn't that pretty so I've got that whip, whipped up and I think I just do I have one or two just one I think this this hap these happen to be ones that I had already cut and instead of grabbing the pile that I was going to use I went and grabbed the, I had two piles going. Well, one pile I had completely forgot about. And this is another one. I've got two of these that I'm doing. Go-to bags. Isn't that cute? Isn't that pretty? That's going to be pretty. I can't wait. And I've got the blue interior. So I have two of those. And I'm going to whip those out. I think I'll probably whip them out today. I want to get all these done so I could get busy on my house and then I remembered I forgot that I had the paper doll the paper dolls so I got I had two cut of the paper doll paper dolls so I grabbed those I thought maybe I whipped those up I don't whip whip but you know what I mean so I got two of those to make pink pink interior and then I've got um, two chihuahuas but I think they are but if anybody wants chihuahuas, you let me know because I got I got two two of those going here. So I know I try to do too much, but that's all right. It's like I can't seem to relax. That's why I'm I, I'm going on vacation, and it's going to be a vacation. It's going to be R and R. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be answering. I'm not going to be uh, doing mailing. I'm not going to be doing anything. So, eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> mm. 
So, I think that's about all to bring you up to date. Um, uh, knitting, I did one row of one row of uh, Cheryl's uh, thing on the jig, and that that's it. Between crocheting and sewing, it's taken up my last three four days four days. So, um, I was going to show you all some coin purses, but you've seen them all. And like I told you, if you like red and you want a different decal, I can always take these off. But anyway, um, that's it, gang. I can't think of anything else except just the rain and my sinuses. And I did take my sinus pills today. So, yesterday. I swear, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I got up, I got up kind of late, I think. No, I got up early. That's right. And then I started, you know, I had my breakfast and messing with, with Rosie. And then Rosie goes to bed. And then, I don't know, I started doing something. I picked up that damn cell phone. And I start playing a game. All of a sudden, it just... Then I came in here and I, started, I whipped up some bags and I'm ironing them and finishing them up and putting, you know, doing all this stuff. Like... Like, these are the, the straps for the bags and stuff. I had sewed all those and everything yesterday. Well, I just kept right on working through the day and forgot I didn't take my pills. I started to feel a little funny. And my heart started racing a little bit. And I thought, oh, my God, I forgot to take my pills. But it was too late to take them. So, I'm just, uh, I'm just not, not right. Something's wrong with me. Oh, here we go. Tear this off. Um, but anyway, so I did all right. I took my, my night pills a little bit earlier than normal, and I think we're back on track now. Feel okay this morning. Well, after I went back to bed for three hours. But I'm doing laundry, trying to get everything cleaned up. Ooh, these are so, ooh, these are a lot harder than those other ones. All right. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to put those on right now. Take off my... My handmade ones. <laughs> I know I'm a mess. Okay, so I think that's all I got to tell you. Um, what's in there? Oh, but I got a ton of bags to make for my other commissioned items and stuff. So, but today I think I'll finish these these up, and um, I gotta cut one of those tea ones too. I forgot. And get those all out of here. And if you're interested in any of these, let me know because I'm mailing them. I'm mailing them tomorrow. And then I'm going to start working on my house. I picked up the garbage, a little bit of garbage today. You know, emptying the trash cans. I do a little bit of time. You know, what I used to do on a Saturday, clean a whole house and everything. Well, before I got the maids in. <laughs> and they came twice a month. And they'd come in on a Friday, and when I got home from work, everything was clean and smelled nice and everything. Now that I'm older and I can't seem to do but one little thing at a day in a day, it's awful. Then I have to sit, and but I did get my computer chair out to go in and start sitting at the sink and getting those plastic plastic containers washed. I can't put them in the dishwasher because they end up all over the place. They end up all with the soap all over them, and then I have and half of them full of water. So then I have to rewash them anyway. So I just wash them all by hand, and I hate putting my hands in soap water. So I use gloves to wash with. I don't know. There's something about I. I won't. I just won't touch it. I get my gloves on. It's terrible. What's happened to me in my old age? Oh me! Better cut that off. Um, what am I going to do now? Well, I think I'm going to sew these box bottom. Well, I got to cut, cut a couple and then, uh, sew these boxes in. And, um, what else am I doing? I do have a couple more little coin purses in there made. A black and a red one. And the red one I'm putting a pussycat on. And the black one I haven't decided yet. But yesterday, or last night, um, Hobby, is it Hobby Lobby? No, Joann's had a, spe a 
special and a special coupon. So I bought a few more um, pendants to go on my bags. I don't know. I just felt like it. I, well, there were some new ones. You know, I've been through the whole the whole shebang. Hobby Lobby, I haven't I haven't gone on their site, but they're having a special too. So, and I think I'm gonna box up some sweaters for my sister. I didn't my sister in law and nieces, but I think for that I was gonna wash that red one. But I'll just have them wash it. She has a washing machine. I mine's out there, and I I think that should probably be washed on delicate or something. So anyway, so I'll ask her to wash that in the washer and dryer and we'll see how it comes out so anyway so I've got a few things to pack up for her mm -mm. this is not Gatorade but I use the Gatorade um, bottles and I get these little packets of crystal light and this is 20 ounces but the crystal lights were 17 so I fill it up to about right here and then I put my little crystal light powder in there and shake it up and stick it in the refrigerator. Bingo! Billy's got her drinks. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But it, it's it's worth it. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, I want to thank everybody for the go-to bags. They went like crazy, and I'm, I'm so appreciative. Very, very appreciative. So now I'm going to... Um, arranged this week to get the boxes shipped to kids in need. I got two big boxes of hats that I'm going to mail and then I'm going to I got to get a bigger box somewhere. Um, mail some hats to Knots in Love. Knots in Love? Yeah. And then I got to fix that the blanket that I made for um, Rose for Wish not Wish something else what is it for abuse women <laughs> is it wish no I can't remember anyway sorry Rose but I'm going to um, I got to tie it you know work in all the ends oh, I hate doing that. but I'm gonna have to take it in there and do that so that I can get that shipped out washed and shipped so um, that's about it gang Everything else is copacetic, I guess. Same old, you know what, but a different day. You heard that saying? Um, no, I was trying to think if I had anything exciting to tell you. Oh, I, I did uh, talk to my sister, and um, David fell again, hurt his arm. And she, it was about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, she said, and they had to call the EMTs to come in and pick him up. But um, her daughter, Amanda, is going to come three days a week and help her out. Yay! Thank you, Amanda. And I said, well, you never call me to help you out. She says, Billy, you're old. and you're, You can't. You can't. <laughs> the first time I've ever been told I'm too old. But she's right. I really... Yeah, I'd probably be in worse shape than he is if I went and tried to help her out. So, uh, and she says that Amanda's younger, younger and stronger. And that's true. That's right. And the girls should help her out at this time. Um, so that's it, guys. I'm going to say adieu. Um, I hate ending it so early. Jeez, 30 minutes. What's wrong with me? No. I was kidding. But I will put down the address for Whispering Stitcher. And um, anything you could do to help her out would be greatly appreciated. So, um, I will talk to you guys soon. So, when I get these bags made, I will um, get back to you. Um, but I, I hope to get them done soon. Because I'm trying to get... Clean my slate, baby. Clean my slate. It's only like, what, 18 days left or something like that? Jeez, it's going by fast. I'm, I'm trying to get in the closet to get my suitcase. And um, so I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. It's going to be hard with that large suitcase, but if I, ha I have a medium suitcase. But is all my stuff going to fit in the medium suitcase? It's just going to have to because 
I think the big one would be, it has wheels, but somebody has to lift it up, right? I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that anymore. But, uh, yeah, so I'll work it out. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. Talk to you guys later. Um, and for you people on the Gulf Coast, please be safe. Get in a safe place. And everybody, please wear your mask. Um, I don't care if you're for Trump or you for um, Biden. Wear your mask. It just broke my heart to see all those people at Trump's rally um, in the news without mask. It just broke my heart. I'm going, oh, why take a chance? Why take a chance? One in a million? No. Millions are getting affected by this. All it takes is a sneeze, a hand sh and handshaking and hugging and stuff. Come on. It's not a hoax. People are dying. Anyway, it just aggravates me. It takes a lot to make me angry. And that makes me angry when people take chances like that. It's, it's, it's just not, it's not worth it. And especially if you're older and the people in the crowds were older. So you want to play it safe. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox. I'm, I'm finished with that. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.